Hey, what's up, guys? It's Darth Lion here, and today we're going to be doing another Force Friday review. Now, I already done a review on Kylo Ren right here. Check the video out if you haven't already. And I already have him in a really awesome pose for the review. So you can see he's got his choking position out right here, and with his lightsaber extended. Really awesome pose right there. And before we get to the Force Friday review, I need to tell you some news. On December 29th, 2017, I went to the AMC theaters to see Star Wars The Last Jedi with my mom and dad. Yes, I bought some popcorn for the movie. And I got these two popcorn buckets. Now, they're both exactly the same. And of course, we share it as a family with the three characters, as you can see. So here we have Rey, Finn, and Kylo Ren. And we also have a Coca-Cola bottle. Uh, zero sugar, Coca-Cola taste the feeling right there. And yep, I went to the AMC theaters to see The Last Jedi in theaters. And the other bucket, it's exactly the same. Same characters. And the same Coca-Cola bottle. Same design, same place. And today we're going to be taking a look at another action figure from Star Wars. And it's this one. It's the 2015... Star Wars 12 inch Darth Vader. Now this is a really awesome, this is a really fantastic figure. Same thing with Kylo Ren right there. It's the same exact uh, height, just different characters. So let's take a look at the box. So right here we have a window showing us Darth Vader himself. Really awesome. We get a sneak peek of what's inside the box. We have the Star Wars logo. And Darth Vader in a really awesome pose with his lightsaber. On the bottom right here it says age 4 plus Darth Vader, Disney and Hasbro. And on the other side we uh, also look for R2-D2, Stormtrooper and BB-8. But just to let you know each of them are sold separately. So here's the back right here. Before I show you the back. Uh, the small parts is not for children under three years, so be careful, kids and parents. Choking hazard. So right here on the back, this is uh, says Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, which is actually what I like about what Hasbro did is that um, if you remember on my last review, uh, that Kylo Ren was from Star Wars: The Force Awakens. It said so on both. Uh, said so on the front and the back, as you can see. But not Darth Vader. He isn't. He's not in the Force Awakens. I know we see his melted helmet, but it doesn't count. Uh, it says it just says Star Wars on the box. See, even it says so right there. Same thing with this. And uh, as you can see, it says Star Wars. This he is from Revenge of the Sith, which is the third Star Wars movie in the franchise. So, anyways, really nice. And uh, here's a little bio right here. Darth Vader. Designed to bring balance to the Force, Anakin Skywalker fell to the dark side and arose as Darth Vader. Really nice uh, little bio right here telling us about the character. Again, nice picture of Darth Vader. And I like the fact that, um, I like the fact that he's in the pose right here, like he's ready to fight. So I like, it's a plus right there. And on the bottom right here, it says StarWars.com slash The Force Awakens, StarWars.Hasbro.com. And, um, yep, it's the websites where you can check out the latest news and such from The Force Awakens. Uh, websites not available in all languages. It includes figure and accessory. And on the bottom right here, it says Disney and Hasbro. On the other side, it says Star Wars. And another cool picture of Darth Vader. And on the bottom right here it says Disney. On the top, it's the Star Wars with a little hook. You got Disney. And on the bottom, there's nothing. So let's take Darth Vader out of the box. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna. Here we go. Here we are. So. So here we um. So 
There's the box. It's empty. And uh, here's the figure and the accessory right here, which is a blade this time. And right here, it's just red right here. Uh, this is a cardboard to hold the figure in. And here is Darth Vader out of the packaging. And I gotta say, for a Hasbro figure, he's really impressive. Because, look at him. He's got really nice details around him. And uh, for the accessory, this time it's actually a red blade. Whereas for Kylo Ren, it's a lightsaber. So let's take a look at the figure. So right here, we got a nice, nice details of the helmet right there. Really accurate. We got the armor. The chest plate and the belt, really nice. Uh, nice details right here, and this is like metallic black right here in the bottom right here. So I love that they made that detail. And uh, for articulation, you could move his uh, both of his hands do move. Uh, his wrists move, his other wrist moves, and his legs move as well. So you can just so you can pose him however you want, and on one of his hands, as you can see, you got a lightsaber hilt right here, and a nice choke hand right here. So that's pretty cool. And uh, on the back right here, we have a uh, we have a cloth cape, which I really like that they add that. Like on the bottom right here, there's the uh, there's the other part of the uh, of the cape right there, and uh, for Kylo Ren, uh, he doesn't have a cape, he has a robe. So with Darth Vader, he's got a cape right here, and uh, comparing the uh, two right here, uh, exact same height, twelve inches, just different characters in the different Star Wars movies. <clears throat> Anyways. So as we so as we look at the figure, really nice and uh his blade does come on the lightsaber. If I can get it just right. It's going to be a bit hard because I'm holding holding the camera too for the blade. All right, I'm going to put the camera down while I do it. There you go. And uh, here's the lightsaber right here. Really awesome. I like the fact that um, they designed the uh, lightsaber right here. Really accurate to the movie. Really impressed. And uh, for standing, he stands really well on a flat surface. And uh, getting him to his awesome pose right here. Really cool. Gonna fix the cape right here. There we go. That's better. And here you go. Here is the 12 inch Darth Vader figure from 2015 by Hasbro. So we send right here. So. I know that um they look pretty similar in the uh dis in the um displays I hold them, but I actually like that display. It's really it's really cool and it brings the character to life for the pose. So that's my look at the Darth Vader action figure from 2015. And before I go, I just want to tell you, um, like I said, the lightsaber, really good. Nice details. I know that Darth Vader has like a regular blade, whereas for Kylo Ren, it's like staticky. Like static for the blade and uh, instead of Kylo Ren's uh, instead of the lightsaber for Kylo Ren being gray for Darth Vader it's silver and uh, like I said really nice details and uh, as we look as we open the cape right here we got more awesome details right here on the boots as well and the back of Darth Vader right here we put the cape down right here. But like I said, I really like the fact that they add the cloth cape right here. Really makes the character stand out. And uh, yeah. 
And uh, but um, for the articulation, like I said, uh, you can't move his head. Uh, it's fixed in right there. You can't move it, but you can move the arms, the wrists, and the legs, just like with Kylo Ren or the other 12-inch figures. So yeah. So as you may know, I'm really sorry about um. I'm really sorry about not posting recently. Because I had a lot of work to do. But I'm back now. So yeah. So here is the. Uh, so that is my look. At the 12 inch. Darth Vader action figure. From 2015. By Hasbro. As always. If you like the videos I make. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, like the video. And why not subscribe. And you'll be seeing more videos coming in the future for from my channel. Like if it's any Force Fridays or reaction videos or any other videos I'll make. So stay tuned, everyone. Peace out. Darth Lion signing off.